The HD Star basically is an HD and SD monitor and generator. Okay. The, the whole wave, it's a whole scope, obviously, yeah, with yeah. a generator building. So on the HD Star, you get 11 test signals. The audio test signal menu, you can choose which uh, group you can embed in four channels of audio. You can call a monitor. You can flip it sideways, look at it that way. Mm. Okay. Um, waveform monitor. You can scroll the waveform across the screen. You got a zoom function up here. Let's do, you'll do RGB, R minus Y, B minus Y. Then do line select, same thing. Go in here, choose line select, and now I can scroll up or down on the screen and choose a line number. You got a vector scope. You got a serial monitor. All right, it tells you your data. That's your it. CRC, your UDHRs. Uh, oh. Ancillary presence and your embedded audio groups. Okay, it has an audio monitor. It has a headphone jack in the bottom, so if you listen to the audio, you can, and here you can control the output level and the balance for your headphones. So like I said, it's got five different memories for HD, five minutes different memories for SD. And it, when you go between HD and SD, it remembers what, how you it saves the, the settings for the HD. And when you come back to HD, it'll be right into that setting. Same way with SD. When you leave SD and go to HD, it saves all the settings. So you have five different memories for SD, five different memories for HD. Test the generated motion is basically a bouncing block in the video. And that's continuous motion. And when people are working with decoders or encoders, they want to test that. They want, they want continuous motion testing.